what is a reciprocal? Well, uh, it's something worth knowing, I'll tell you that, especially once you get up to Algebra 1. Uh, very, very handy. You'll need it in pre-algebra as well. But what is a reciprocal? Well, basically it's this. It's, it's when you can get two numbers and when you multiply them together, their answer is positive 1. So, I mean, what I've got typed up there is two numbers. When multiplied together, they get 1 for their product. Or, um, well, let's just show you some examples here real quick. If I take 1 and I multiply it by 1 again, we still get positive 1. So the reciprocal of 1 is 1. But if I take 10, what can I multiply by 10 to get their product to be positive 1? In this case, it's 1 tenth. So 10 times 0.10 or 10 times um, 1 tenth would get you 1. Uh, 20 times 0.20 would get you 1. And so the reciprocal of 10 is 1 tenth. The reciprocal of 20 is 2 tenths. Um, you don't run into this very often when you're talking about these situations. Instead, you're talking about fractions most of the time. How do you find the reciprocal of a fraction? So this was just to help you understand what is a reciprocal. It's, it's when you take a number and you figure out what you can multiply it by to get positive 1. So when we get down here, how do we find the reciprocal of a fraction? In other words, hey, let's just say that we have um, 1 half. What's the reciprocal of 1 half? Well, you take the fraction and you turn it upside down. So 1 over 2 becomes 2 over 1. And we would handle it. Uh, by multiplying straight across. So if we take one half and multiply it by its reciprocal, which is basically the fraction flipped upside down, we'll get positive one. Uh, one over one times two is two, and two times two is two, and that's the same thing as one. Okay. So basically, what we did here is we took a look at how can we find the reciprocal of any fraction? You take the fraction, you flip it upside down, and then if you multiply it across, if you get positive 1, you know you have the right reciprocal. So um, 3 fourths, its reciprocals would, would be 4 thirds. So 4 goes on top, 3 goes on bottom, and then you would multiply straight across, and guess what? You get 12 over 12, which is the same thing as positive 1. Remember, the reciprocal, when it multiplies, it, it basically when you're using a reciprocal to multiply, you need to be able to get positive 1. Not negative 1, it needs to be positive 1. So what happens when you run into the situation of a negative fraction? You can handle it in a couple of different ways. Um, best way I can tell you is to just move the, the negative with the number that it's with. Um, however, on the second one, I'll show you the other way to do it. So negative 10 goes down to the bottom, positive 8 goes up to the top. Uh, next thing you know, you've got negative 80 um, on top, and you've got negative 80 on bottom. Negative divided by negative is positive. 80 divided by 80 is 1, so it's positive 1. So that does work. Um, every once in a while, though, I've got people going, well, Mr. Tate, can we do this? And I'll show you what they're saying. Can we just say that it's negative 9 up top, like keep the, the negative sign up at the top, because you told us it's usually best to just leave the negative sign up there at the top part of the fraction? Well, let's find out. 9 times 7 on the bottom is positive 63. Had a little bit of an issue here. There we go positive 63. And what's a negative times negative? Well, that becomes positive 63. So this negative times that negative is positive. And when you have 63 over 63, it's the same thing as 1. So really, it comes down to how do you want to handle it? Uh, what do you feel most comfortable with? Uh, the most key aspect is, is make sure that you know what a reciprocal is. Um, if it's a fraction, you just take the fraction and you flip it upside down. And if you want to check to see if it's right, just multiply straight across. And if you get one for the product, it's the reciprocal.